Thank you very much for joining me on this Friday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for your trust as we get deeper into the hurricane season. And we're going to start to see things develop. I want to get into the European model and really all the models, the American, uh, the Icon, yeah, the Canadian model. They're showing signs of development out here. So I'm going to look a little bit ahead in this. I want to show you the European model. It is the most reliable model. It doesn't mean it's exactly right, but it is the most reliable model. This is going to be a hot spot off the coast of Africa. We're going to be watching next week for the potential of a developing tropical depression. Maybe a tropical storm. Don't know where it will go if it does develop, but it's still a wait and see. And here's why, because you've been seeing this with me. I've been talking a lot about this, the dry air in place, lots of dry air through the Caribbean right now. I'm gonna break down that. It is super, super hot. Please use some caution with this heat. Tons of dry air. So you see these tropical waves right now, they just run smack into this dry air, kind of eats at them, they fizzle apart. But we're about to see some changes, at least some gradual changes later this month as expected. Now, what's going on right now is closer to home, closer to the United States, uh, Bahamas, parts of Central America, and in through the rest of the Caribbean, uh, conditions are a little more conducive for development. Warm water temperatures, a little more moisture around. It's still very dry. I just showed you in parts of the Caribbean. It's not quite as dry though. It is super dry out here. So we haven't seen any development, uh, at least uh, too much thus far over the last three to four weeks. Now, what's gonna happen later this month is some of this dry air is gonna shift a little bit more to the north. It'll be drier up there. The atmosphere, not quite as dry. It's gonna be a wait and see if things do develop because again, this dry air has been some real deal dry air this season, but a slight change in the pattern and that may allow something to develop. Conditions are gonna be a little more conducive for development. Now, on top of that, at times, high pressure is really going to build in through Bermuda and kind of extend westward. So if something does develop with a strong area of high pressure, that acts like a barrier that would not allow it to just escape out to sea. Now, it's going to fluctuate. There'll be windows where something could move out to sea. I'll talk about that in a second. But overall, if high pressure is dominant and at times it will be and something does develop, that may shoot it into the Caribbean or kind of threaten up toward the United States. And we've got to watch these tropical waves now moving forward into the Gulf of Mexico as well. So a subtle shift, a small shift in the pattern, but that can mean a big difference. So I'm watching this very carefully. I do see the pattern change, but we'll see how things kind of evolve. Now, what the heck are the models saying long term? As we get into next week, the GFS or the American model is saying, hey, we're going to get a strong tropical wave off the coast of Africa. It is going to stick together, but I'm not seeing much in the way of development out of that, at least as of now. Now, now, the Icon or German model has been consistently showing this strong tropical wave, uh, the potential of one or two coming off developing. So that's saying, yes, something is going to develop. The Canadian model is saying, yes, something is going to develop as well into a tropical storm. In fact, the Canadian model showing about two areas trying to uh, develop. What does the European model say? So let's get into that. Clearly, the models are at least seeing something, saying, hey, we're going to see uh, at least the chance of development. Here's Florida. Here's uh, as we work our way into Belize, Jamaica. We get toward Haiti, Cuba here. High pressure and control, Caribbean. You see the Caribbean through here. So high pressure and control. If anything were to develop right now, that would shoot into the Caribbean or the United States. But that area of high pressure is going to fluctuate. You see kind of moving around. Now, let's go way out in time here. So this is working our way through the weekend into next week. I want to stop it here. This would be by Wednesday of next week. Now, Wednesday of next week, the European model is seeing a couple strong tropical waves. In fact, two to three. So we've got one here and then another one coming off the coast of Africa. Now, even if these don't develop, they may be the kind of precursor uh, to other stuff developing. They may kind of help get the atmosphere a little more, uh, add a little more moisture to the atmosphere. So even if they don't develop, they may help something behind it eventually develop. So again, subtle signs of changes. Now let me take you out in time further. This is by next weekend. So this is a week out in time and then some, a week and a half. So it's going to change. The weather this far out in advance changes. But look what the European model is seeing. It's seeing at least a strong tropical wave 
the potential of a tropical depression or even tropical storm near the Caribbean. It's seeing this tropical wave trying to escape out to sea though. I mentioned high pressure does fluctuate. Looks like there'll be an area of high pressure here, but maybe a window right here where that tropical wave could escape. And then another strong tropical wave off the coast of Africa. Is there going to be a tropical storm in the Caribbean? Time will tell. We'll see. We'll see how it goes over the next week or two. But clearly next week, this is by next weekend, I should clarify, uh, there's going to be at least three strong tropical waves out there. One or two may develop. All the models are seeing them at least as a strong tropical wave, some as a tropical storm. So we'll see how this evolves. You see it for yourself again. Clearly, as we get through the weekend, I'm going to be tracking this. In the weekend videos, I'm going to keep looking at this, seeing these tropical waves that will emerge off the coast of Africa. Now, in the short term, super hot and super dry in spots. That is a massive, massive, massive issue. Of course, it's hot. It is summertime but the temperatures are above average. The water temperatures are above average, keeping us extra hot. Now, near the Bahamas, you see these blobs near the Turks and Caicos, close to Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica, we can see a few showers and storms, especially on our eastern end, uh, parts of eastern Cuba near uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Nothing organized here, but watching that, scattered showers and storms, Costa Rica, I've been seeing that near Panama. We've been seeing a little bit more of that action uh, lately. So you can see it here again, rain chance up, especially on the uh, uh, Pacific, side of Costa Rica, even El Salvador, Guatemala, better chance of rain. And there's still some tropical waves coming in. So when I get to the forecast, we'll see the rain chance kind of going up and down. But overall, it's not a lot. With that said, we've had some wild weather, especially the northern Caribbean over the last couple days. Watching the rain today near parts of the Bahamas, central, southern Bahamas, Cuba, Jamaica, a few thunderstorms, some spots dry, but others, we've been getting some rain and storms the last couple days. Now, the leftovers of the tropical wave we've been tracking all week. That'll be in the Western Caribbean by tomorrow. And you see here again, Cayman Islands, chance of some rain. Honduras, Belize rain chance goes up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Nicaragua though, south, that's where we have the higher chance of rain. And then spotty showers and storms in the Eastern Caribbean. So again, that's on our Saturday. Taking you into our Sunday, we don't see anything widespread. But again, around the horn, scattered showers and storms will be around. And then by this point, we'll start to see those stronger tropical waves coming off of Africa, one, two, three of them, and we'll see if any of those want to develop. It's going to be hard though, because again, there's a lot of dry air out there. As we work our way into the Pacific side, this spot here and this spot, both showing some signs of development as they continue to move away from some land. Boy, I wish, thinking of our friends in Hawaii, I wish Dora, which we were tracking uh, over the last uh, several days, last week or two, I wish that moved into Hawaii because, uh, again, uh, just thinking of the folks there, uh, last I saw upwards of almost 60 have died because of the wildfires in parts of Hawaii. You know our thoughts are with you uh, in Hawaii. All right, we get to some of the forecasts now. Jamaica, watching out for isolated to scattered storms. The next three days, a 40 to 50% chance. We work our way into Belize. Rain chance gets up a little bit higher by Sunday, a 40 to 50% chance. That's with the tropical wave moving in. Trinidad and Tobago, another tropical wave sliding by on Sunday. It's not a big one, but again, rain chance will be a bit higher Sunday. Be mindful of that as you head off to church on Sunday morning. Grenada, rain chance gradually going up, but it's still not super high. And it's on the low side today, a 30% chance. Barbados, rain chance bopping around the next three days at a 30 to 40% chance. St. Lucia, today and tomorrow, a 30% chance of a passing shower. It's going to be a passing variety over the next two days. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, 30% chance today. By Sunday, though, a little more moisture around, like I was talking about, so a 50% chance of rain. Cayman Islands, scattered showers possible. Sunday, it will be higher, upwards of a 50% chance of rain in the Cayman Islands. Central and Southern Bahamas today, that's where we have the better chance of rain and an elevated 50% chance on the Turks and Caicos today, dropping to a 40% chance tomorrow. Dominica next couple days, not much. Isolated, same thing. Guadalupe, Martinique, 40% chance by Sunday. All right, working our way into Puerto Rico again, isolated storms, not much, super hot. Virgin Islands as well. We have been so hot. British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, 
temperatures have been baking. Thank you for leaving those comments. Been watching those numbers you've been sending in. 20 to 30 percent chance that's it the next few days. Dominican Republic again. This is where we'll have some isolated flooding. We'll get some heavier thunderstorms at times in the Dominican Republic through the weekend. Even a few in Haiti also leading to some of that isolated flooding. As I mentioned, Northern Caribbean a bit more active. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, 20% chance of rain, 20% chance Antigua, Barbuda, super hot. And again, some of that dust that will be around. Anguilla, rain chance low, 10 to 20% today through the weekend. 20% chance today, tomorrow, St. Martin, Sabastasia over towards St. Bart's. And in Curacao, again, that limited chance of rain, 10, 20%. As we get into Aruba, 10% chance today and tomorrow. That's all. Mainly dry and again, scorcher. So, so hot. Guyana, 30 to 40% chance today through the weekend. And in Suriname, rain chance pretty low this weekend, a 10, 20% chance as we work our way into northern Venezuela, a little higher northeastern Venezuela by this weekend with that next tropical wave moving in by Sunday, I should say, with that 40% chance. Costa Rica and Panama, that's where we have that higher chance of rain. So again, we are baking in the heat. Please, please use some caution all the way through Florida. It's been out of control with some of the numbers. Uh, again, uh, heat advisories, heat warnings have been in effect for a lot of us. Rain chance limited overall. Still some storms, uh, again, limited. And then watching what's next. All eyes, again, on what's going to be coming off the coast of Africa over the next couple weeks. There is that pattern change, but we'll see how it does with some of the dust. Some of the dust will lift to the north. We'll see how conducive it gets for some development. Watching it closely, long way to go in the hurricane season, but I will track everything for you. That is my promise to you on this channel. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Thank you for sharing the channels as I combine some of my words. I need to get a nap. And again, uh, thank you for being part of this weather community. I hope you have a good day ahead.